Hi, I'm Pastor Ellie. And I'm Pastor Kurt. And we're from Seven Seas Ministries. And welcome to our newest video. This one is called The Words We Choose. Mm -hmm. And we want to talk today about the words that we as followers of Christ choose to use on a daily basis. And this is not about whether we use encouraging words or negative words or, you know, gloom and doom words. This is about the actual words that we speak mm -hmm. when it comes to following the leading of the Holy Spirit in the sense that we, we don't use words that are offensive. Mm -hmm. Now, when I say words that are offensive, I don't mean that we don't use words that hurt people's feelings. Because sometimes when we speak truth, it does hurt people's feelings. Mm -hmm. It's not that. It's, it's, it's about cuss words. I'm mm -hmm. just going to say it. <laughs> Instead of trying to dance around the subject. Um, you know, the, the Bible tells us in, in a couple different places that, that we should not use filthy language from our lips. Mm -hmm. And I believe that was in the book of James, but I'll put the reference up. Mm -hmm. um, and there's another reference that talks about avoiding coarse jesting, mm -hmm. dirty jokes, mm -hmm. foul discussions. Mm -hmm. And I've, I've seen over the, over the, I don't want to say over the years, but over the last few years, I've seen a disconnect with believers. Mm -hmm when it comes to understanding the importance of the words that we choose to use. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like, like I've heard people say, well, well, I love Jesus, but, you know, I use this, this word all the time anyway. Well, and that word is a very, a very vulgar. vulgar, it's a very <laughs> vulgar word. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, the guy was sincere mm -hmm. in saying that he loves Jesus. I, I don't question his his love for Jesus at all. Mm -hmm. But what I question, and I don't question him personally, but I question what is, what is wrong in the body of Christ that there's such a disconnect that people will openly state to, you know, thousands of people or tens of thousands of people, yeah, I love Jesus, but I still use that word. Mm -hmm. there, there's a disconnect. There's a breakdown somewhere. And so we wanted to kind of just touch on that Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't have to be anything lengthy, but we need to make sure that we understand the importance of holiness. Mm -hmm. We need to understand the importance of allowing God to clean us up. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, this was, I'm looking back to when I was 18, so it was a long time ago. <laughs> but, <laughs> 42 years ago. <laughs> so when, when I became a Christian, I felt the conviction of the Holy Spirit start working on me. And trust me, there was a lot that needed to be cleaned up. And I didn't clean up instantly. Mm -hmm. It took time. It, mm -hmm. it, it, and, it, you know, we're all a work in progress. But there are certain things that over time I stopped doing. Mm -hmm. There were things I stopped saying. And that was because I felt the conviction of the Holy Spirit he would, he would like, you know, prick me every time I would start to say something mm. that I shouldn't say. Right. And nobody told me that. I just felt the conviction of the Holy Spirit. But I know that some people need to be taught mm. because they don't know, mm -hmm. you know, they don't understand. And I'm not saying that I was any better than anybody else just because I didn't have to be taught. Mm -hmm. There were other things I had to be taught, trust me. <laughs> Um, but we need to make sure that we are taking the fullness of God's word, mm -hmm. God's word in its entirety mm -hmm. and applying it to our lives mm -hmm. because God wants us to live righteous lives. He wants us to be a holy people. Mm -hmm. God says, I am holy, therefore you should be holy. And those aren't the exact words. It says, be holy because I am holy. Mm -hmm. I'll put the reference up. But there is, a, there is an inference there. He is inferring that we need to make sure that we avoid some things. Mm -hmm. You know, like most Christians will openly say, yeah, we should avoid adultery. We should avoid fornication. We should avoid all these different things. But for some reason, there's a disconnect mm -hmm. when it comes to the words that, that come out of our mouths. Mm -hmm. and, and this is not 
this is not to like point a finger or scold anybody, mm. but to try to bridge that gap that seems to be there. And so, you know, if, if we are, if we've never heard this before, then, you know, I'm glad that we're speaking. It. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. maybe you're, maybe you're listening to this or watching this video and you're like, wow, I didn't know that. Mm. See, that's why we're speaking it. Mm -hmm. Because apparently there's a, there is a disconnect. There's a lack of teaching or something mm -hmm. going on. Mm -hmm. And it's causing many, many believers to continue to walk in something that God wants us to shed. Mm -hmm. He wants us to, to let it drop off. And mm -hmm. He wants us to let the Holy Spirit change us mm -hmm. from the inside out. Because the Bible talks about the renewing of our minds and the transforming of the way we do things. And, and you know, I'll put the mm -hmm. references up on the screen. We're not, we're not just throwing this out there. This is scriptural. This is biblical. And so we need to make sure that we let God change all of us. Mm. And I don't mean all of us, like the big bunch of us. Mm. I mean all of us as individuals. Mm -hmm. We need to let him change us completely. And, and again, you know, this is not a scolding. This is not mm -hmm. throwing stones at anyone. But we needed to put this out there because we have to... We have to pull ourselves out of the world, mm -hmm. as the Bible says. And that is done not by removing ourselves physically from society, but from the ways of the world. Mm -hmm. And foul, filthy, vulgar language mm -hmm. is of the world. Right, and I'm wondering too sometimes if in those areas where, mm -hmm. you know, maybe we lack as a believer, if we're not letting... Um, the Holy Spirit convict us in those areas because maybe we enjoy it. Or, or maybe it's just such a habit. Ha you I was know? just going to say, or even a habit or something right. we just, or we're so used to doing yeah. that we're almost like numb to it. Yeah. Like we don't even hear ourselves saying it. Yeah. And we need to let the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. in on those areas too in our lives yeah. that we were so big in. You yeah, know, maybe, exactly. Maybe for somebody it's filthy language. Mm -hmm. Maybe for somebody else it's dirty jokes. Maybe, yeah. or, you know, get a laugh. Or, you know, right. maybe for someone else it's, it, it could be anything, mm -hmm. you know, that is um, against mm -hmm. God, you right. know, against the holiness yeah. of God. You know, it, mm -hmm. it could be, you know, drinking, you know. There's areas in our lives mm -hmm. that... The Holy Spirit will convict us mm -hmm. if, we if we let him, let him convict mm -hmm. us. And exactly. maybe we like what we're doing mm -hmm. enough so that we have not let him come in and convict us in that area. Right. And yeah. maybe it's time to realize that yeah. it is wrong and yeah. we need to choose. Are mm -hmm. we going to yeah. allow that Holy Spirit to come in and convict? Mm -hmm. And maybe that's that gap. You know, right. maybe we have not been taught that, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Or, or heard enough messages on mm -hmm. it to allow that conviction right. to come in. Right. And so we're putting it out there. Yes. <laughs> and, you know, it's not an easy thing to, yeah. to, to put out there because, you know, I'm never afraid of offending anybody because if God gives... <laughs> I'm just not. He's not. If, if God gives me truth to speak, I'll speak it. But I, I always want the Holy Spirit to temper what I say so mm -hmm. that it's... So it's said in the way that right. God wants it to be said, not just me blurting it out like, hey, you know. And, and so we want to put this out there. It's, we've spoken this in love. We've spoken this with, with compassion. Mm. But it's truth. Mm -hmm. It's truth. And, and so we need to bridge the disconnect. We need to stop that disconnect. Mm. And we need, to, we need yes. to obey God's word. Yes. And cease with the filthy language and with the coarse joking, the, you know, all of the stuff that goes with it. Amen? Right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so let's pray and yes. wrap this one up. Mm -hmm. Father God, we thank you for your truth. Yes. We thank you, God, that sometimes your truth, it touches us in places that we don't like it to touch us. But yet you are faithful to touch us anyway because you want us to live holy lives. Yes. Father, we thank you that you have laid out what you want from us. Lord, help us. Help us to obey. Help us to, to acknowledge the conviction when we feel it. Help us to heed the instructions that you give us, Lord God. 
and help us to separate ourselves from the world with the things that we do and the things that we say. Lord God, teach us to love you enough yes. to obey you. Yes. Father, we, we repent, Lord God, as a body, we yes. repent for these things that we have brushed off and we've, we've, we've squashed and, and ignored the conviction when you've brought it. But Lord, help us prick our hearts, Father God, that we would feel the conviction again and that we would heed your instructions. We love you, Lord God. Help us love you enough to obey you in everything that we would be pleasing to you in everything that we do and that we would be an example for those around us no matter where we are. We give you praise and honor and glory today and we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 We know this is probably not fun. <laughs> it's not fun to share sometimes. <laughs> But truth is truth, and, yes, and if we are right. to grow outside of the bounds that we've placed ourselves in, we have to be able to receive these things. Yes. Amen? Amen. Amen. We love every we one love of you. you. We hope you enjoy the rest of your day. If yes. you would like the video and share it with others, we would appreciate it. Yes. And until the next video, you take care, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.